Did you know that visible lights only account for 0.0035% of the electromagnetic spectrum? Hey everyone, this is Mr. Lara, and in today's video we will learn about visible light, radio waves, and x-rays. The electromagnetic spectrum includes a range of different types of electromagnetic radiation, which is energy that travels and spreads through space. The spectrum includes seven different types of electromagnetic radiation, radio waves, microwaves, infrared radiation, visible light, ultraviolet radiation, x-rays, and gamma rays. We describe the spectrum in terms of wavelengths because energy travels like waves with crests and troughs. The distance between two crests is called the wavelength. A crest is the highest point of a wavelength, while a trough is the lowest part. Each type of electromagnetic radiation has a different wavelength depending on its energy ranging from very long to very short. These wavelengths determine its properties and how it interacts with matter. For example, visible light is a part of the electromagnetic spectrum that we can see with our eyes. It has a relatively short wavelength. This allows us to see the colors of the rainbow. But visible light is just a small part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Other types of electromagnetic radiation, like radio waves and x-rays, have longer and shorter wavelengths than visible light. And these different wavelengths are used to help us understand our universe. For example, radio waves are used to study objects in space that are too far away or too faint to be seen in the visible light spectrum. Radio telescopes can pick up the radio waves emitted by distant galaxies and other objects in space, and this can give us information about their size, temperature, and other characteristics. In comparison, X-rays have shorter wavelengths than visible light, so they have very high energy. X-rays are emitted in the explosion of a supernova or in the formation of a black hole. X-ray telescopes can detect X-rays from these type of events, and this can give us information about the extreme conditions that exist in such parts of the universe. We can also use the wavelength of electromagnetic radiation emitted by a celestial body as a clue to figure out its movement and position relative to the Earth. For example, when the visible light waves from a star travel through space, they gradually lose their energy and move toward the longer wavelength of the spectrum. Since red has the longest wavelength in the visible light spectrum, light waves appear redder the further they travel. This is called red shift and helps determine how far the star is relative to the Earth. The more red shifted the light appears coming from the star, the farther away it is. So as you can see, different wavelengths of the electromagnetic spectrum can be used to gain information about different parts of the universe. From radio waves emitted by distant galaxies to the X-rays produced by explosive events, an electromagnetic spectrum is a powerful tool that helps us study the universe. Let's review what we just learned. The electromagnetic spectrum is made up of seven different types of electromagnetic radiation, ranging from longer wavelengths to shorter wavelengths. Energy travels like waves and has crests and troughs. The distance between two crests is called the wavelength. Radio waves have a longer wavelength, and X-rays have a shorter wavelength than visible light. Longer wavelengths have lower energy, and shorter wavelengths have higher energy. Visible light has a relatively short wavelength and it allows us to see the colors of the rainbow. Radio waves are used to study the size, temperature, and other characteristics of celestial bodies that are too far away to be seen in the visible light spectrum. X-rays are emitted by explosive events in space like supernovas or the formation of black holes and can be used to study such phenomenon. The redshift of visible light tells us how far away the celestial body is relative to the Earth. The more redshifted the light appears, the further away it is from the Earth.